In this video, I'm going to be doing a quick review of quadratic functions. So a quadratic function is a function that is in the form a times x squared plus b times x plus c, where a, b, and c are simply numbers. And in the first term here, a is being multiplied to the x squared term b is being multiplied to the x term, and c is just a constant. So some examples of this would be f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 2x plus 1, where a is 3, b is a negative 2, and c is equal to 1. The important thing here that makes this a quadratic is the x squared term must be present. It must exist. There must be an x squared term. That is what makes it a quadratic function. If the x term didn't exist, it would still be quadratic. So as an example, this is also a quadratic. 1 half x squared plus or minus 2. The x squared is there, but the x term is missing. Or let's say we have the function h of x is equal to 18 x minus 3x squared. In this case, we're missing the constant term. We're missing the c, but we have the bx term and the ax squared term. The ax squared term must exist. It must be there. Otherwise, it is not a quadratic function. So the first thing is to be able to recognize a quadratic function when you see it. The second thing you need to be able to do is to understand the graph of a quadratic function. And so the graph of a quadratic function is going to be a parabola. And the parabola is either going to look like this. It's what we call an upturning parabola, or it's going to look like this, which is a downturning parabola. And it goes up infinitely far or it goes down infinitely far if the domain is not being restricted. This point right here is called the vertex. And so here we have a vertex uh, at the low point in an upturning parabola. And in a downturning parabola, we have the vertex at the highest point on the parabola. Now, an upturning parabola, the A value is always going to be greater than zero. So as an example, we have y is equal to 3x squared plus 10. The a is equal to 3, which is greater than 0. So this is going to give us an upturning parabola. A downturning parabola, the a term is going to be less than 0. So as an example, y is equal to negative 2x squared plus 8x because the a value is negative 2, which is less than 0, it is going to be a downturning parabola. So as soon as you look at a, a function, if you see a function y is equal to negative 2 thirds plus 8x minus x squared, you immediately know that this is a downturning parabola because here is the x squared term, and the a value is 1. It's a negative 1 because of the minus here, and so it is less than 0, and it is downturning. So you need to be able to recognize a, per, um, a quadratic equation and immediately be able to tell if, if it's an upturning or downturning parabola. The next thing that we want to be able to tell fairly quickly is the vertex. Now, there's lots of ways of determining the vertex, again, that's the turning point, okay? But the easiest way is to remember the little formula that you learned in algebra, x is equal to negative b over 2a, and the y value of the vertex is the function value at negative b over 2a. So as an example, let's say we have the uh, function f of x is equal to 2x squared, plus 4x, plus 12. Well, the x value of the vertex 
is negative b, which is negative 4, over 2 times a, which is 2, which is negative 4 over 4, or negative 1. So the x value of the vertex is negative 1. The y value, then, is equal to the function value at negative 1. So we're going to evaluate this function at negative 1. So that would be 2 times negative 1 squared plus 4 times negative 1 plus 12. And so that ends up being negative 1 squared is a positive 1 times 2 is 2 minus 4 plus 12. That looks like it's going to be 10. And so that means the vertex is at the point, the vertex is at the point negative 1, 10. We also know that this is an upturning parabola because the a term is positive 2. The last thing that we want to be able to determine is the y-intercept. And this is pretty easy to do. The y-intercept is simply at the point 0, comma, c. So using this same example, we had f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 4x plus 12. The c value is 12. So the y-intercept is at the point 0, comma, 12. So remember, the y-intercept is where the graph crosses the y-axis. So knowing what we know, we could make a quick little sketch, which I'll just do over here, of this parabola. We know that it's an upturning parabola. We know it goes to the point negative 1 and 10. So let's put 10 up here. Negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Negative 1, 10 is the vertex. And it goes through the point 0, 12. So very sloppy little graph here, but 0, 12. So I'm going to extend this up a little bit. Here's the point 12. And so it's going to be an upturning parabola. <laughs> and of course, it doesn't look like a parabola, but it, there's the point 0, 12, the y-intercept. Here is the vertex, the point negative 110, and it's upturning. So you should be able to look at a quadratic function and tell the vertex, the y-intercept, and whether it's upturning or downturning fairly quickly. All right, that's it.